the judiciary plays a critical role in the implementation of the U-turn system. The new law requires a person who has been issued a traffic ticket or a citation notice to file a notice to contest or a notice request in a court hearing if such a person wishes to contest the content of a ticket or citation notice. Ticket matters will no longer automatically go before the court due to non-payment of the stipulated fines. The court will no longer be saddled with the burden of being the sole institution to receive payments for traffic tickets. The Honorable Chief Justice, Mr. Justice Ivor Archie, in his opening address at the 2015-16 law term, spoke on the performance of the courts and the number of new matters filed versus the number of cases disposed, and lamented on the not too encouraging rate of case dispositions. More significantly, our disposal to filings ratio is stuck at 0.67. Traffic matters accounted for 56,744 of the new filings. Magistrates do not need to be dealing with minor traffic matters, like tickets. They should be doing case management and trials. The technology exists for smart licenses and immediate electronic citations. Fines should be payable online. It was therefore a welcome initiative when the Ministry of Works and Transport met with the judiciary to present the ministry's plan for improving the efficiency of the fixed penalty ticketing system by introducing a demerit point system, red light camera technology legislation, and traffic enforcement systems. When the Motor Vehicle and Road Traffic Act was enacted in 2017, the judiciary had already embarked on its internal transformation drive to reform its processes and reduce administrative and procedural delays in the amendment linked unquestionably to this objective. Currently under the law, when a law enforcement officer issues a fixed penalty traffic ticket, the defendant must go to the courthouse in the district where the offense occurred to pay the fine. If payment is not made, the alleged offender has to appear before the traffic court within the said district. The present system is onerous on both the customer and on the courts. Besides having the responsibility of processing payments on behalf of the state, unpaid tickets are transferred to the courts list as traffic cases. The number of traffic cases filed in the 2018-2019 law term, excluding July, stands at over 85,000 new cases. Overall, 60.4% of all the cases filed at the magistrate's courts are traffic cases. Court lists are saturated with traffic matters, which contribute to the backlog. The system, in its current form under the law, is arduous as significant administrative time and resources are expended on processing payments of traffic tickets notwithstanding the burden also placed on the motorist. This new legislation is welcome as it allows the judiciary to concentrate on its core business of conducting case management and trials. The U-turn system provides real-time connectivity between the courts, licensing division and the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. The Traffic Enforcement Center will facilitate electronic secure transfer of video and photographic evidence and information to the judiciary in the form of an electronic case file. This file will provide the judicial officer with all the information relevant to adjudicate a case dispute. On conclusion of the court hearing, the outcome of the matter will be electronically transmitted through the U-turn system to the Traffic Enforcement Center to record the court's order on the driving record of the driver. Motorists will file their notice to contest via contest.ttlawcourts.org and upon doing so, they will answer three short questions which will trigger the system to provide a date, time and court location where they must appear. The system promises to provide real-time information transfer, resulting in improved customer service. It will ease the administrative burdens currently on the courts and allow district court judges to focus on their core function of case management and trials. Persons can file their notice to contest online and the court is benefited by only having to deal with matters where a genuine dispute arises. Evidence and all supporting documents are transmitted through a secured link between and among the respective agencies. The U-turn system will assist the administration of justice in Trinidad and Tobago by significantly reducing the backlog of cases and the time it takes to determine disputes. Citizens now stand to benefit from improved customer service 
and faster delivery of justice.